Valve, the creators of Team Fortress. Left 4 Dead, Half-Life, and Portal. Good work, Boots. The designers of the Steam Deck and the innovators of the Valve Index, which still to this date is considered one of the best VR headsets. Valve is working on their next headset, and this will pave the way for an entirely new generation of VR products. And I have reason to believe this could revolutionize not just virtual reality, but the entire digital realm. And so this is everything we know about the Valve Deco. The first question is, well, what even is it? We all know the Index well. It's been and still is considered one of the best VR headsets. To rock solid performance and tracking through the combination of a 120Hz display and the incredibly reliable Lighthouse tracking. But time has moved on since then. I would consider the Index a Gen 2 headset, utilising full 6 DOF movement. But we all know by now, VR devices today have gone standalone. Just before I go into detail about, well, the details, most of this information is coming from sadly it's Bradley, as he's proved to be time and time again the most accurate leaker of information. It's clear in the early days of the development of the Deckard, they made and designed prototypes to suit two paths. One lighthouse based PC VR headset, and the other would be much more like the Quest, with inside out tracking and its own dedicated processing. But which path did they take? Well. According to the most recent leaks, Deckard will be using x86 AMD APU, which is a mighty beast for its size. This almost certainly will be for standalone, as it would be completely unnecessary for just PC VR. This would also give the assumption that we are heading down the standalone inside out tracking route. We do know in the early days of development of the Deckard, they did have issues trying to get the inside out tracking to match that of the quests, but years have passed since then. According to leaks, also, the Deckard will run a variation of Steam OS similar to the one ran on the mobile gaming device, the Steam Deck. And now I've said this before, but more leaks and information make this clearer that this is the case. With every new piece of technology comes with it a path for technological development. I truly believe the only reason the Quest Pro was released was just to cut the cost of manufacturing for the Quest 3 and I think the story is the same here with the Steam Deck. It seems like there are many similarities when talking about the Deckard and the Deck, with the same processing unit, the same operating system. And so that leads me to assume the Deck was created to perfect the systems for standalone PC VR, capable of playing essentially any Steam VR game without the need for a PC. The only issue I can see from this being the case is performance. The deck runs at a much lower resolution than you want from VR, and the frame rate is far too low for a comfortable experience. But I'm going to go out on a limb and explain how I think this will be possible. It looks like eye tracking will almost certainly be coming to the Deckard, with several leaks showing references to Deckard eye tracking. Foveated rendering is the holy grail of VR when it's properly utilised. For those who don't know, dynamic foveated rendering uses eye tracking to only render a very small portion of the screen in full clarity. Potentially, the rest of the screen resolution can be reduced up to 80% without the user noticing. The Quest Pro, for example, can increase performance of up to 52% using the eye tracking cameras. But still, this is scratching the surface of what's possible. The potential of eye tracking is to get up to 5 times the performance or even more. But this is proving a difficult feat. Valve likes to get things right, and so I hope they perfect foveated rendering, because you can imagine the power of a Steam Deck with five times the performance. Now that's how I can picture standalone PC VR. Thankfully to more recent leaks, it looks like this will be more than just a standalone PC VR headset. And the key there is PC. Leaks with the new VR operating systems show references to reflections and dynamic lighting of 2D window interfaces, aka spatial computing, aka the entire Steam library playable inside VR. This honestly potentially blows my mind. The Index is a VR device which attracts VR users. Now a Deckard with full PC Steam capability on a standalone device would now appeal to all PC users. Me personally would love to have a VR headset capable of playing 2D Steam games anywhere I want. But again, it goes even further than that. 
The Steam Deck is capable of essentially being a desktop PC, with full functionalities built in. If the Valve Deckard is running the same or similar version of Steam that the Deck is running, by the looks of it, this is a headset that could potentially be a fully working PC, much like the Vision Pro. So if all this is true, this headset should and would be on everyone's wish list. But if I'm honest, this all sounds too good to be true, but this is the information that presents itself. Just a few more leaks in terms of specifications, the headset is looks to have the power source attached to the rear, much like the Pro, with the floating speakers like the Index. The Deckard also looks to have dual 4K micro OLED displays, which is a similar direction again to the Vision Pro. The controllers look like they're getting a remodel too, with this patent leaked, this again would confirm inside out tracking as you can see the IR rings on the controllers. Hopefully they keep true to the Valve Knuckles as I would still consider them one of the best VR controllers. The last thing that leaves us to speculate on is price and release date. Truth is, we definitely don't have any idea for both. With all those features, if any hold true, I can't see this costing less than a thousand. I'll put it closer to the Quest Pro's original price at 1,500. As for the release date, I'd guess 2024. Valve being a private company allows them to be secretive, which honestly is a good thing. We can hope for sooner, but only time will tell when the headset will come. I'd really like to know what you think about the Deckard and what kind of headset you think it will be. So let me know down in the comment section below. If you like the video, like and subscribe. And as always, I'll catch you on the next one.